Welcome to Louisiana Heartbeats. I'm City Landry, and as usual, we're always going to be featuring someone special. And to me, we have an extra special guest with us today because Terry L. Bethea is an author of children's books. And we've had her on Louisiana Heartbeats a couple of times, and I'm excited about this lady. She's well known to us as the Energizer Bunny author. She just gets all over. She works hard. And because of her hard work, she's now also a retired school teacher. I understand, I remember you loved golf. Tennis. Oh, I always get you playing golf instead of tennis. <laughs> tennis. But anyway, welcome to the show, Terry. Thank you, I appreciate it. Appreciate we wanted Katieanna to know what's been going on. And number one, let's just briefly share about the three little books that's up on the screen. Well, the three books are um, the first three books in the series called the ARC series. And, um, they're basically stories about how the animals were chosen to aboard the ark with Noah. And um, I feel blessed to have those three and a few others coming soon. And so we're back still with those three. So. Okay, now I also want to let you know, Katie Anna, that we have also started a new show, Showtime with Mother Goose. And Mother Goose will be reading these books on April 14th right here on AOC, also on Facebook, and it's going to be live. So I want you to know, this is just a kind of recapping of what you've done already and what's to come. So, uh, the Cabot the Rabbit, little, give us a tiny bit of what that one is. Well, throw that hook out there. I'll throw that hook out there. Um, Cabot is already aboard the Ark when he meets Teresa, and he's very sad about being aboard the Ark. Um, and he gets to tell the story of how he was chosen. And actually, he didn't want to go. When he got the call, he didn't want to go. He didn't ask God to take him. He didn't ask, pray to go. His mother did. His mother saw in him something special among all the rabbits she gave birth to and all the other rabbits. And when he was chosen, he reluctantly went because, of course, he didn't want to leave his mom. And so he's getting to tell the story of why he was chosen. And I hate to give away the end of the story. Don't give it. Don't how, give it. how he becomes happy at the end of the story. Well, I was very happy at the end of the story of why snails are slow, too. Me, too. We don't want to tell people <laughs> about that. We don't that, want to tell the ending. We don't tell the ending. It was amazing. It was amazing, the concept, the story. How he, I read it to my great grandbabies. Well, good, and thank they you. Absolutely love it. Of course, good. I read every book that you, any author, is giving good. and sending, so that Mother Goose can also have it. But since right. I don't get a copy, I, I read before I give it to her. But she's been reading already two shows, and your books will be featured uh, April fourteenth. Well, I, I feel very honored. That's a, oh, that's an I'm honor. I'm excited. That really is. You, the it reason, Acadiana, that I have Terry here is because she was one of the first authors that came to a monthly meeting full of energy radiating vocally she just had so much excitement about her she had just got proofs on your books and this was first, how many years the, ago? oh gosh i don't know but actually it was in barnes and noble uh -huh. and i was across the um <laughs> store from you and your yeah. group and y'all were very loud or they were clapping for somebody and i thought i'll just go see what the clapping's about and so when i went i remember bending down and somebody that was there i said asked them what was going on and they informed me that your group you know, critiques books and poets and things like that. And I thought, yes. well, I can, I've written a book, but actually at that time, none of the books were actually in book form. That's right. And I did get to read, um, you invited me one time and I read Why Snails Are Slow, but it wasn't in book form yet. That's right. So it's been a while because the book um, Why Snails Are Slow came out in 2011. So that had to be more than seven years ago. That's right. That I met you and well, your Well, it's group. actually eight years that I've been on this platform with the Katiana Open Channel going on nine. Uh -huh. And so, so it's amazing though how we get connected. Everyone that connects, there's no accident. Just no, like there's there no accident meeting the host that's gonna be taking over my show when I change a little schedule, but I'll still be doing other shows. Well, good. Helping other people get their own shows. Well, so I'm yeah. excited. But the reason I brought that up, Katiana, is that the Writer's School of Katiana gives many authors opportunities for resources or just come and like little children sit there and listen to what someone else has written. It may inspire you. It may motivate you. You already have a story maybe you need to write that you've been putting off. Well, Terry that day just bounced on in there, and she got us so excited. We broke a few rules that day. Um, we let her do a whole lot that we don't usually Probably. Let somebody <laughs> Probably. talk about unless they are a paid member. Uh oh. oh they yeah. did. I wasn't a paid that, member. I remember nope, that. <laughs> no, nope, but she was worth it. I and appreciate we, that. And we do see the uh, talent of people that walk I, I in do, and just I show up. I do appreciate up. that. I do well, appreciate that. They got, we enjoyed having you there also. So that's why I wanted to share that, Acadiana, that there's a really 
never an accident. It's no accident that you're probably watching this show today. So be encouraged. Never too late to write your story. Never too late to get it published. Hey, KDN Open Channel gives you the platform Absolutely. to advertise it free. Uh, and we do go by the rules of uh, KDN Open Channel and Facebook. It's just another resource. So with that said, now you were, you are supposed to be retired. I am. Well, I'm <laughs> retired from teaching, but I'm not retired so, from life. That's right. So right. I get to... Uh, enjoy things like playing tennis, which um, I like to do, but I also am a volunteer. I volunteer at um, The Restore, which okay. is connected with Habitat for Humanity. Okay. I do that every Wednesday. By the way, today's Wednesday. Today's so Wednesday. But I'm volunteering tomorrow. Okay. So I volunteer once a week with that group. I, I honestly love the organization and what they stand for. And then I volunteer uh, once a week on Monday to shelve books from the school I retired from, which was Ernest Collett in Youngsville. So I still stay connected. I like when the children say, they come and um, they'll say, are you an author? And I'm like, yes, have you ever met one? <laughs> and then I show them my books and, and, and if they're on that reading level, the books are all now accelerated reader, which is, which is that's a, what we want to that's talk a, about that's also. a big, uh, that's a big plus. Books don't become, unless you're famous, you know, JK Rollins, your <laughs> books don't just become AR. It's a, it's a journey to be that. So I feel very um, blessed that the books have been accepted by uh, Renaissance Learning Inc. Now let's back up. They didn't just overnight get put there. No. Take us through some of the steps, the passion. Why did you take it from the just becoming a published author? Uh -huh. You had promised some children yes, that you would publish the first yes, book. Yes, I did. The first book, actually, Why Snails Are Slow, um, the students I was, I, I was teaching at the time in Ernest Collette, the second graders, by the way, they're all in their mid-20s now, so that tells you <laughs> how long ago that was. Um, they, uh, wanted me, they, they told me I should get it published. Well, one of them said it. And so I made them two promises, which was that I would dedicate it to them, which I kept. And the other was to hunt them down like dogs. <laughs> um, they loved it. Children love that. Um, Grown-ups aren't so cool about that, but children love that. Hunt them down like dogs and make sure each one got a copy. And of course, they thought the books would become books the next day, which yeah, it didn't happen. It took quite a few years, but I can honestly say today, and I like saying that, um, that I found all 21 of them. And that's not, wasn't that's an easy- That's amazing. That, that's amazing. That's a God thing. That's, that's right. That doesn't just happen. Um, and I didn't hunt for them like you hunt for children, but when I retired from teaching, the last three I now could find because now they were past 18 and graduated from high school and, and I was able to find the last three in other states. And so I can honestly say, you know, all 21 of them have their own signed copy of Why Snails Are Slow. Now, Cabot the Rabbit's based on a little boy that was in my class. His name was Cabot Bellard. And uh, his mother prayed that I would get him in my class. And so when that book became a book, he got his copy. But when he was in second wow. grade, his mom got the manuscript. I read the manuscript for Cabot the Rabbit um, when he made his um, communion. I, went, I was invited to their home uh, after we, um, Cabot made his communion, and I read the manuscript. Oh, wow. And I handed it to his mom with a rabbit for him, and she kept it all these years. Wow. And when it became a real book, I brought her a copy of the real book and told her only one word in the book changed from the manuscript. And that was, uh, sadly became shyly. And then every other word in that book never changed Amazing. in all those years. And that book was published as a real, into a hardcover book in 2015. And then the third book, The Perfect Monkey, is also based on um, some uh, classmates of Cabot's, Jeffrey and Gabby. And they each have their own copy. And uh, Jeffrey was a little boy that um, could not use his right hand. And it was the first time he was in a regular classroom. I was the inclusion teacher and I assigned him Gabby and they were perfect partners all year long mm -hmm. and just their interaction became the story. And so once it was written, I read it to them and um, he has a copy, she has a copy and that's the way it goes. But the children in that class were really the inspiration. So the next books, if I could just start publishing them. Um, but well, then, with your busy schedule, I'm sure you'll find I'll, some day, some time. I'll, I'll find some time. But, yeah. but I am excited about them being AR. There, if you go online, there are five ways to become AR, and I don't remember all one of them is to be Let's famous. Let's explain to Katie Ann yeah. what that is, because uh, like people like me might not know. know. Well, AR is Accelerated Reader, and um, schools subscribe. It's a subscription service, and children read books. They take what they call star test, and they give. They do this three or four times a year, and they give the children a range of books that okay. they can read and comprehend, hopefully to raise their comprehension. And then they test them. It's all computerized. 
And so um, the books aren't on, online, but the, but the tests are online. And so books fall into range. So um, the five criteria, I can't remember the first four, but the last one was for submits, that people would have to actually submit your book to them. And so you have to go online. And it took about 200 submits from parents and students and friends and family. And then I was contacted that they would like to make Why Snails Are Slow into an accelerated reader story. And um, you have no control over the questions, the level, or anything like that. And then when the other two came out a few years later, you start all over. But okay. it took less submits, only about 50 submits. And then I sent those in. And so they're all AR books, which is accelerated reader books. And they range from uh, 4.1, which is fourth grade first month, down to third grade fifth month. But the really neat thing is that once they became AR, um, I started a donate a book. That's what I wanted to donate a to. book, and I, the people here in Acadian are very, very generous with their time, their talents, and their money. And I just started talking to friends about gifting a set, buying a set, and putting them in a school. And I really started with Lafayette Parish Public Schools because that's where I taught when I was a, a public school teacher here. And um, it just kind of snowballed. And I had friends whose grandchildren went to Catholic schools or other Christian schools. And so they said, well, I'd like to do one to a particular school. So I'm here to tell you today, which I couldn't tell you a few years ago when I was here, um, the books are in have been gifted by other people and businesses as well into 104 libraries. What? Eight of them are um, <sighs> regional libraries, like Lafayette Public Library and one in Mississippi, three are international libraries, and the other um, 90, I think it's 93, are in public, private, Christian, or Catholic schools in 13 different states. And so when a donor buys a set, sometimes they know what school, and sometimes they just said, they say, okay, I wanna get, here's, here's the money, you find a school, and I find schools, and schools um, love to get books, and they, if they do AR, they love to get AR books that they probably haven't heard of because I'm not famous. You're on your way. You're <laughs> on your about, way. I don't know about being famous. <laughs> I guess I'll come back on the show when I'm really famous. <laughs> You're getting there. You're you'll getting remind there. me. You'll remind me. But that's uh, oh, definitely. And listen, I want to add to that, Katie Anna. Uh, Terry's done a lot of li literally legwork. Yes. A lot of presentations anywhere the doors open. You try to go and you share what your books are about. But your passion's always been teaching, and yet here you are still encouraging children. These stories have uh, actually, the main story has a message in it. Yes, they all have, they all and have very positive messages. And you're messages. not preaching, but yet it's good morals. Yes. It's a good ending story. Yes, it is. It, you know, and, and uh, I, I think it's amazing to see where you started and you haven't stopped yet. Now, these are the only three books at this time that have been published. Correct. But you do have others. Yeah. in the making. Correct. Well, actually, the story's all written. It's just deciding which one to be fourth, which one to be fifth, which one to be sixth. The work, um, the stories just came. I can't explain. They just came. Uh, any author, you know, it's based on things, of course, the children I taught, but the ideas for the stories came. Um, the stories, writing's easy. Publishing's probably a little harder. Mm -hmm. it, the work starts after. Marketing, if if marketing yourself, yes. yes, marketing the books and really believing in your stories. So for me, when I get an opportunity to go into a school, like I'll go into a school and read a book, I don't charge. I, I, like, I just enjoy reading the What children. is it with us authors? We just <laughs> want to get out there and share what we're doing. Correct, correct. Though you're blessed yes. in the long run because other Huge yes. doors oh, absolutely, open up. and um, sometimes, sometimes I'll read the stories in a school, and the librarian will buy a set for the library, and sometimes she'll buy a set for another school. It's just interesting to see how it goes. It really, it really is a, um, a joy to do that. But I do enjoy reading. I have to bring up many years ago, and I'm laughing because the memory just came back. Guys, listen. My other cameraman and I decided we were going <laughs> to go to her school. And we were going to film her reading the stories to her little children. Well, we were how many hours late? Uh, I don't I know. We were at least an hour. We were way late. We got there. Those children were still sitting. Yes, they and were. And they were still waiting. 
And we filmed that show. Absolutely, the children were. It was amazing. Were, they, were, they were so tickled. And the school was like, okay. Yeah, yeah. they were fine. And the ones who weren't going to be in the film, filming, because we had to have permission. That's right. We had to have parental permission to have them filmed because they had to know what was going to happen. The ones that weren't in it were just as good. That's they, right. They were very well behaved during the whole, I they was were. very impressed. Well, we were very impressed too. We were so happy because it was amazing that you were not even frustrated because you knew we'd get there. Absolutely. Well, I didn't know. My cameraman didn't know where this school was. I didn't know where this school was. We didn't have a GPS. I hadn't mapped Quest it. Yeah, they did. I don't know if we, we even had that back then. We in circles forever. Yeah, everybody knows where, where Youngsville is now. I mean, it's kind of grown up a lot since, you know, those years. But that was amazing, and, and uh, the children really did enjoy being, that had permission to be on film there. But we enjoyed just the fact that you had not given up on us, and it was not too late. According to you and the principal, it was going to be okay. People had even adjusted their classes for you, yeah, or they were, something. They were but very, they were very accommodating. Yeah. And that school really needs kudos, so to speak, because yeah. they really were accommodating. Well, Terry, I can tell you right now that that I'm excited anytime any author gets something out there. But to see yours grow from not just writing a book, but you've published it, but you have a passion, you have a mission, and so now you have this donate. A book series. Donate it. Donate it. And if it, anybody wants information, they can check out your website. Yes. It's up on the in screen. fact, in fact, that really that's um, only the only place you can get the books. I'm yeah. the, if so you for contact, more information, they can just yeah. uh, send you they, uh, they, a notice. Something yes, like they that. can. They, in fact, I'm, I get all the notices. I'm the one man show. The one woman one, show. That's right. <laughs> I do says, everything. I autograph it. I send it out. I bring it to ship it. I do everything. Yes. You know what? It. That's amazing because uh, uh, I've been collecting books, as you know, for uh -huh. our new show, uh, Showtime with Mother Goose. And I keep forgetting to, to ask the authors to sign their books. Oh, yeah. You would think they would automatically sign it. I'm guilty. When yeah. someone purchases a book from me, I, I don't, I don't yeah. really oh, sign no, it. Oh, no, you want them to sign oh, it. Uh, yeah, you know, oh, I, you, oh, it, yeah. I, went, I went in a store to buy a book for my grandson and asked the lady. I said, um, it wasn't my book, it was somebody else's book, and I wanted to know. Um, there was The author had not signed the books, and so I asked the shop lady, I said, did, are these on consignment? She said, no, we bought these. I said, well, why didn't he sign them? Like, I can't imagine anybody wanting my books, paying me for my books to put in their store and not wanting you to at least sign your name in them. People collect books that are signed by authors. That's Even right. if it's just your name. That's right. No detailed message or anything like that. Which I learned real fast. Just sign your name. Sign your I name. I like dating. I like the you date date and yes, the signature and all that. So we got it straight. I always want to put her playing golf. Maybe you ought to... No, no. <laughs> and she loves tennis. 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 So are you playing much tennis these days? I am a lot, quite, quite a bit. Since you retired, quite a bit. That. My team's going to state pretty uh, well. Fifty-five plus. We're fifty-five plus, which means you have to be fifty-five or older to play on this league. Um, we're going to state in a couple of weekends from now, so I'm excited about that. Well, That's I guess so. A good group of ladies, and wow. we're gonna have a good time. And no matter where you go, I'm sure you're sharing your books with everybody. Anybody Absolutely. knows you. Yeah. It's yeah. going to help you share it also too. Yes. Well, Terry, what's what's going on? What are some of the Areas that you've been speaking at, or, or I mean, I can see this picture of you sitting on a stage with two people between you. I don't know what that event was for. Two people between. It was. It was a picture we had uh, seen. It was in the newspaper, hmm. and I think they were talking about your arc series. Oh. So it may have been at a school with a little, I don't know, uh, auditorium kind of setup. Where do you speak? Where have you gone out? Well, basically... Invited. Where have you been invited? Well, I've been invited again to um, go this summer, although I haven't confirmed the date, only because uh, my daughter's... I have a daughter that's having a grandson. Yay! So I have to... Uh, a second grandson. So I have to be... I have to be careful on the dates so we're not sure... You know, I hate to commit to something. I have to uncommit because that's when you right. tell people you're coming and you don't come, that's, that's really not good. So um, I actually go anywhere I'm invited. I've done... Read the books uh, to children as young as preschoolers. And right. all the sixth graders, so okay. I go where, where I'm asked to go. I rarely turn that down. All right, let's reword that. What? Where was the last event at? The last event where I read a book, where I read one of the books? Whatever you did. Um, you read a book? Let's see, I'm trying to, I'm trying to think just off the top of my head. The last event I read. Or any event that comes well, to I you. Well, did, I did um, Grand Coteau, the Grand Coteau a Holiday Market, but I don't read the book there. That's a, a um, different um, vendors are there. Okay. That's selling the book. Do you know I just posted that on Facebook? The, uh, the one that uh, Neil Bertrand, the friend of mine that uh -huh. has a publishing company, he did a video of each author that was there. Yes. And, uh, he was um, in the library? Yes. Yes, yes he was. I yes. was in the back of the library. I'm yeah. Well, he also, too, had videoed at some of the little events 
in Grand Coteau uh -huh. at the Thinstead Center. Okay. I mean, I pulled up, you have three videos. You pulled all that up. I pulled it all up, and I let people know that they could see it on Facebook. And if they miss it, it, what we're doing live, uh -huh. I mean, any area that I can get that word out and what you're doing, I want to know about I it. I appreciate it. So I, I can really pull do. up even I this do. and say, hey, this author is at this location yeah. now. We can't do certain things on this community access station, but mm -hmm. we can do a whole lot with okay. other resources. So I'm excited about having you come back. Right. After being here two times over a period of eight years, I'm excited to know where you started and where you are now and where you're going with this. And Lord, what could top the ARC series being <laughs> a donate a book to, to schools right. and in fact, stuff. In fact, on the way to Grand Coteau, I passed up Grand Coteau um, Elementary. And so I passed that up every year when I've done the event at Grand, with Sacred Heart, yeah. the School for Sacred Heart. And so I decided I'm going to just pull in the parking lot and see if they have my books. And they, they did do AR. The librarian was tickled. So we donated a set. Wow. I found a donor and I, I told her who I was. And I said, I'm not asking you to buy a set. I have a set for your library if you would like a set. And so I told her um, to check out the web page, check out, you know, go online, play the videos that are on there for each book, and then um, I'll swing back by and you tell me if you want a set, they're yours, and if you don't, it's okay. And so she was tickled to get a set of books. So that makes me happy when I can just bring a set to somebody that has no clue who I am. And so the, the you pay it forward. No, I don't know thing. unless you tell them. No, but it's it's just it's, crash a Barnes and Noble there you go. monthly meeting. There you go. Just crash the Barnes and Noble. The town of Grand Coteau hey. or any other Youngsville, any place. Walk on in. Right. All they can Hi. do. All they I can am. do. Is, all they can do is say no. But the last normally they, they don't. No, they don't. The last yeah. school I read it or the one I can think That's of. That's how I, I operate. Did. That's why I'm saying that. I there love it. There you go. <laughs> Jumps Jumpstart Academy in. Um, I think it's in Youngsville. In fact, one of the students who was a classmate of Cabot and Jeffrey and Gabby, um, Kelsey was um, teaching there. Not not teaching there. She was um, working there part time while she was going while she's going to school at UL to become a, a nurse practitioner. She invited me to read to her little children. Wow. So it was pretty awesome to to see her grown as a grown woman who was going to be a, a nurse practitioner and uh, and to know that she remembered me and asked me if I would come and read the book. So I've been, I've been two summers in a row there. I have a question, and I, it's amazing. Things pop in my head while we're on air. Well, good. <laughs> I hadn't warned you because I didn't know. Would you be interested in going to hospitals and reading to children? I, I would love to if I was invited. Have you been? No, no. Um, am have I you been invited yet? No. Um, without saying the name of a hospital, um, somebody wanted a set to be donated to a hospital. I won't say the name of the hospital. That's right. Um, went to the hospital, met the person in charge, and they were turned down. I mean, you know, and I think it was because of the content. Not, not that there's anything wrong with it, but I think he was a little worried that if the books were read to somebody, they might feel that I was trying to teach religion. But okay, I can tell well, you, that, you know, we all know. That's right. I'm, we they're, all know. They're not teaching hey, religion, and not, so he turned out. It was okay. Uh, in fact, I wasn't. I wasn't offended. We just found another place, which was interesting because his own children go to a Catholic school. And I said, well, your children can read them there at their school. That's so right. So it's okay if a hospital were well, to turn see, down. See, the reason I brought that up uh -huh. is because uh, uh, the, way of you, the way you go about it, we have one minute or less already in the okay. show, is that by you donating, the kindness of your heart, donating to different people, if you donate a set, then somebody can read it and see, like I have, it would not offend anybody of faith. No. Because yeah. you're not preaching a certain doctrine. No, I'm not. And, and that's what, until they read the book, they wouldn't know. Correct. So that's where I used to donate my books to be able to just, you know, have people know, hey, you know, you may not normally buy a book like this, but this is what this is about. Right. But anyway, we are going to be ending the show okay. real soon. So before those rolling credits start coming down, what would you like to share? Is there anything you want to share? Tell someone hi. Well, um, I think I'd like to share the fact that I think, um, and I really believe this, that parents, grandparents, should read to their children from the time they're little. Anything, read anything. It doesn't necessarily be my book, but read them something that they can learn to love to read before they get to school. Great advice. Well, I'm going to go ahead and put uh, the closing credits up okay. on the screen. I want to thank you, the uh, community, for tuning in and watching. This is just the first of many shows to come. Terry's been on two times before, but as you know, you can see that she's also been a busy lady. 
If you're interested in having any certain topics brought up or share your dreams, or if you're a new author, please uh, uh, email us with the uh, phrase music pro at cox.net or contact AOC. This is a free access station. We don't do advertisements, but we sure can talk a whole lot <laughs> about everything. And today my guest was Terry L. Bethea. She's the author of three children books with others that have not been published yet, but she's also been speaking at different areas about her books. So I'd like to encourage you to maybe check out her webpage and see if something there may interest you. Thank you for watching. Bye. Well, thank thank you. you. Thank you for having me on. I appreciate oh, it. Again. It's always a great show when you come on. <laughs> I'm I'm